Hi friends, it's Maura Bracha here. Today, we are going to learn all about the Parsha. So, let's first sing our Parsha song, okay? All right. The Parsha of the week is Tezriya Mitzayra. Tezriya Mitzayra. Tezriya Mitzayra. The Parsha of the week is Tezriya Mitzayra. Tezriya Mitzayra. Amazing, friends. Okay. So, in this week's Parsha, we learn about what happens when someone says Lashin Hara. What happens to them? Well, friends, do you know what Lashin Hara is? Let me tell you. So, when someone says something about someone else that's not very nice, that's Lashin Hara. Let me give you an example. So, if Yitzchak goes to his friend Yaakov and says, Hey, Yaakov, guess what? I saw that Avram was wearing pants that had mud all over it. Do you think that would make Avram feel very nice, friends? I don't think so. That's Lashon Hara. When we say things that don't make our other friends feel good. So, friends, should we learn about what would happen? If someone would say Lashon Hara, well, let me show you. So, we have a person, and let's say one day, this man, he sees oh, suddenly pink spots and white spots appear on his body. And he says, hmm, oh no, what are these spots on my body? He says, let me go call the Kohen, and the Kohen will tell me what to do. And the Kohen will come and check it out and look at those spots. They're pink and red and white. And the Kohen will say, hmm, if these spots are big enough, and, well, the Kohen will decide, really, what makes something Saras. Saras is when he has all these spots all over his body. And the coin will say, um, okay, either you don't have Saras, it's okay. Or the coin will say, hmm, I think you have Saras. Do you know what the man has to do? <gasps> the man has to go outside of the city walls. These are our city walls. He has to go out, bump it up, and sit right over here. Because he can't be with his family now or other people. Because he doesn't want them to have Tsaras. Like when someone's really, really sick, you don't want to get too close to another person because you don't want to make the other person sick, right? So he doesn't want to give Tsaras to anyone else. So he sits outside the wall and waits there for a little bit. And friends, should I tell you something? Tsaras can also get on your clothes. So if he's wearing his clothes, let's give him some pants. And a shirt. Okay. Let's say he's wearing pants and a shirt, right? And suddenly he sees some pink spots. But friends, when Saras goes on clothes, then it becomes pink and green. And he sees pink and green spots on his clothes. He says, hmm, I need to call the coin. And the coin comes to check it out. And the coin says, if he has to rest, the coin says, okay, you know what? Let's wait a week. If the patches, the green and pink spots, if they get bigger after one week, then I'll know that that the Saras is getting really bad and we're going to have to throw away your clothes. So, if after one week, the spots got bigger and worse, he takes his clothes and he throws them away because they're full of Saras. And friends, let's say, man's house, suddenly he sees, let's say he sees, Pink spots on his house. Pink spots and green spots on his house. 
Do you know what that means? That he also has Taras on his house. And the coin checks it out. <gasps> and the coin says, hmm, I think you might have Taras. But you know what? Let's wait a week and let's see. And if after a week it got worse and it got bigger, then friends, he can't live in this house anymore. The house is no good because it has Saras too. So friends, from here, we can learn that we need to be very careful with what we say, to be extra nice. So this doesn't happen and we don't get Saras, right? And nobody gets Saras. Nowadays, we don't really see that we get Saras on our arms or on our body or our clothes or our houses. But in those days, they would get Saras. Friends, we just have to be extra careful for what we say. Also, because we want to be kind to our friends, right? All right, friends, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me with Learning Parsha, and I'll see you next time. Bye.